alam mo, nagustuhan ko na talaga ang chicken breast filet kasi it really is more tender. Alam mo, natutuwa ako kasi when I go around and you say, I watch your vlog and I actually buy Doña Elena now because of you. Okay, I put that there. This is so good. Pwede siyang pang baon. Naku, it's so, so good. You know, I think this dish pwedeng kahit beef, di ba? Super sarap yan. Promise. I promise you. Hello everybody! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is another cooking vlog for all of you. But before we continue, let me remind you to please like, subscribe, and comment on our comment section below. Also, don't forget to click on the notification bell so when I have a new vlog, you are of course notified. So today we are going to cook something that I have learned over the past one month and a half. Chicken breast filet with red and green bell pepper. I've been trying to lose some weight and I have tried to switch eating my regular chicken. I have switched to eating chicken breast filet. And then for my pork, I do pork loin. And then pag beef, I only eat beef tenderloin. And um, there has been significant change in my lifestyle and I'm beginning to feel its health benefits most especially because for my everyday cooking I also use Doña Elena pure olive oil so I just want to let everybody know that in cooking we can use olive oil even during our regular cooking and that for me is the pure olive oil okay so today I'm going to show you what um, new dishes I have learned in my attempt to live a healthier lifestyle. For chicken breast, kasi, people think that pag yun ang kakainin nyo, it's always just lemon or calamansi and pepper and pang diet na yun. It got really boring for me. So we had to be a little bit more creative. So with the help of my sister-in-law, Connie, of course, who's such a fantastic cook, para hindi ako maboard, she tried different ways to cook chicken breast. But when I cook it for my kids, kasi yung mga kids ko, when they see me eating um, chicken breast filet, tapos nakikita nila na mukhang pasarap na ng pasarap yung itsura, they asked me if I could make them try, and I tweaked it a little bit. Para hindi naman sila kasi nagda-diet, so para hindi naman parang boring. And now, it's part of our Sunday lunch. Gustong-gusto na nila yon. So, our ingredients for today. We have our chicken breast filet, garlic, onions, and also some red and green bell pepper. A little bit of oyster sauce, a little bit of um, seasoning. I use the low-salt seasoning, so it's up to you kung anong gagamitin nyo. Of course, our pepper. Paprika, I always put that in my chicken, kahit diet chicken siya. Flour, a little bit of brown sugar. And my Doña Elena Pure Olive Oil. This is part of my lifestyle change. I've been using it before, but now I'm really using it for everyday cooking, especially for my kids who like fried food. We use naman the pomas olive oil. So with this, I'm going to put salt and pepper. Alam mo, nagustuhan ko na talaga ang chicken breast filet kasi it really is more tender. Paprika. So it's salt, pepper, paprika. Rub. Rub, rub. I call it massage. Kinokorekta ko minsan ng aking mga viewers. Call it rub. So you can eat this with rice. Okay, my kids eat it with rice. But sila rin na nagsabi sa akin, Mom, let's put it on a pita bread. And I can show you how we do it also. Now, para kumapit yung aking marinade, as my sister-in-law would say, Hi, Connie. I will put a little bit of flour. Those who are really on a strict diet don't have to put the flour. You can go easy on your salt. But still, when sauteing, always use your Doña Elena olive oil. Ah, when I marinate chicken and I use my hand, it really satisfies me. So it's really just that simple, and then we set it aside. Okay, so with my washed hands, I'm going to start to heat na while I make the sauce. So, oyster sauce. And this one is the 
seasoning na light. And then I put a little brown sugar. Of course, you can use cocoa sugar if you want or whatever. If you're pampa ano lang to, pampasarap lang. You know, but if you really don't want to use sugar, pwede rin. And I mix well. That's about it. Let's try. Oh, sarap. Okay, set aside. Ayan, so mga nagda diet. <laughs> Pwede niyong gawin nga ito, sabi nila. Dalian sa office. Diba? Alam mo, natutuwa ako kasi when I go around and you say, I watch your vlog and I actually buy Donya Elena now because of you. Okay, why? Because it has vitamins. It has vitamin E, A, and K. Bumababa yung ating cholesterol when we use a good olive oil, which is this. Okay, I put that there. Doña Elena olive oil is also rich in antioxidants. It is our perfect choice for cooking healthy meals. It's good in providing our family with an extra immunity boost. And again, for those of you, wag kayo manghihinayang because we can use especially the pure olive oil as um, for everyday cooking. I'm gonna put my garlic. And we're gonna start to smell really good now. And my onions. This is so good. Pwede siyang pang baon. So you can cook like a big batch and then put it in the ref. And then I'm gonna add my red and green bell pepper that we cut into strips. So I don't want to overcook this. So I'm going to set this aside. Nako, it's so good. You know, I think this dish pwede kahit beef, di ba? Okay, I'm going to put again my pure olive oil because this time I'm going to be frying or sautéing our chicken breast fillet. Right, so now I'm going to put the chicken. And you know what? The good thing about this is that even when you reheat, it doesn't get hard. Soft pa rin siya. Sarap nito. For those of you who are watching my cooking vlogs, if you have any other way you could share with me how we can cook chicken breast fillet, ko ano naman ang style nyo, that's really, that could come in handy for those who are trying to lose weight. Why don't you share it with us in our comment section? And maybe we can cook it also. Diba? So really just have to be creative. There you go. Okay, see? So I'm on my second batch. But you know, guys, when I cook for my kids, oh my goodness, ang dami nito. So we're almost done. It's really that simple, guys. Parang minsan nakakahiya mag-share ng, ng recipe na sobrang simple na lang. It's done. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put back the onions, the garlic, and bell pepper. And I'm going to put the sauce that I mixed. There you go. And that's about it. Can you see? Grabe ang bilis. Super fast. Super sarap yan. Promise. I promise you. This is how we do it. So these are two bowls of very hot rice. Ang sarap. It's already 2 o'clock. Hindi pa kami lunch There you go. Here, I'll put it on top. So it's like rice toppings. That's one way. Another way would be, I'm gonna use tortilla, which was suggested to me by Julia and Gerald, which we tried last Sunday. Let's heat some tortilla. Iinitin lang natin, kasi masarap siyang parang toasty and hot. Yeah, gusto ko siya yung may parang burn marks. Here you go. Okay, so I wanted it to look like this. Oh, this is just option two, ah. This is just the suggestion of my children. This is sour cream. Okay. Tapos binibigyan ako ng approval sa no? <laughs> and there you have it. Two easy recipes with our chicken breast filet. It's time to try and have my first meal. Mmm. Oh, good. 
For real, it's really, really good. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I really wish you would try this because it's really, really good. Mamaya ako na nakakayan mo kumain sa It's the same thing, except with sour cream and pita bread. Thank you once again for joining me. And of course, Doña Elena, Pure Olive Oil. Thank you very much for today. And I hope you'll continue to like and subscribe and turn on your notification button. Yako sanay, so magsabi niyan. So that you get the latest vlogs, you're notified when we have new vlogs. So thank you so much for joining me and see you again next week. Bye!